Hey, welcome to Norley Family Farms. I'm Hank, and on this video, we're going to be building our homestead ham radio tower. It's also going to have a couple other components on it for security and outdoor lights. So, let's get started. So I'm about to get some parts welded up for our radio tower. Um, it's going to have uh, a booster for the Wi-Fi and then probably a security light and then a security camera um, just so that we can monitor stuff when we're uh, away. So, so we have the steel pipe. It's about 22 feet long. Uh, it is a probably a four and a half inch steel pipe. So we are going to use this portion for our uh, radio antenna. So we started our, our mount over here. I got some of the parts cut, but this is the, the bottom to the antenna receiver. Then I cut up a couple pieces so that we can put mount a camera on the side. So that'll give us some eyes when when we're out doing stuff. And then we have a booster that'll get them mounted there and then a nice um, light so that if we're out by the boiler over there we can see at night. It just gives us um, you know some better view of what we're doing. So we are going to get this cut and weld it up. So here's the top piece. This has all the little brackets on it that I made so that I can uh, attach all the components on top of this thing. Got to clean up my welds a little bit, but they will hold for sure for what this is. So I'm going to get this thing mounted to the top of the pipe. Got the pipe here. So I'm going to clean that up a bit and get this thing welded on. Move on to the next part. So we got the mount for all of the components welded on. Still gonna touch up some of the welds, but that is okay for the time being. I drilled a hole here and a hole down at the bottom. And this cable I'm able to use kind of like how a flagpole works and just pull wires, it's in a loop. So I got this power wire for the uh, light and some other components in place. Let's run down to here. So next I'm going to clean this up and after much drilling and stepping up each bit because I could not find my one inch bit that I bought brand new for this, I had to use some older ones which took me a while. I have this plotted out for the base of the um, of the whole pole. So I have some half inch plate cut out and these will mount in here like so. We'll get all those welded in place. But I had to drill each and every one of these out, which took me quite a while because this is half inch plate here. So I'm going to get one welded on while it's flat and then uh, be able to rotate it to uh, the direction I want and then uh, tack weld it on and then I'll be able to weld 
these on. So we got this all square. It's lined up just where we want it. So these gussets are all tacked in place so that I could get this thing correctly situated. So now we can tack these and then spin this whole thing so that we can put the other gussets on and then we can weld the whole pipe and gussets all together as one. So we have got done all the fabrication work. Everything is welded up, cleaned up and ready for paint. So we got all these little gussets welded on. So now I can uh, get some coats of paint on it. Probably gonna do three coats and uh, we'll be able to prep the area and start on getting this thing lifted up in place. done the first coat. I think it came out pretty good. So I'll get another coat or two on this thing. Let it dry for a little while and then work on getting this thing propped up. So I'm going to install installing this Wi-Fi extender. And I uh, welded this little bracket here on the side so that this thing can mount just like so with a few zip ties and probably a uh, steel hose clamp just so that uh, it stays on there for good. So I've never used this type before, but it's all weather and it should be able to extend pretty far across our homestead. So we have... Uh, Wi-Fi in between our house and our and our pole barn. So this is the antenna that we plan on using, uh, mounting to the top of this tower. And it's made by this company, Hustler. And uh, I heard good things about them, I read good things about them. And uh, it's a pretty simple antenna, it's about seven, seven foot tall. And uh, we're gonna assemble this thing. Assembly's fairly simple some hose clamps and uh yeah i plan on getting my amateur uh ham radio license uh, in the future so i'd like to have this all set up so that i'm able to use it so we'll get this thing assembled and installed so we got all the components installed on this we had to add an extension on this pipe here because this actually needs to be fully insulated from the tower itself so that you don't have to change up um, the way that this um, antenna is configured. 
So I had to use some of this piping here, this like tubing, it's like rubber. I used that, I found that, and then had to kind of insulate the bolts from the steel tube. So that was gonna be the easiest way for me to assemble this. Um, yeah, I would have just put a steel tube directly on this, but since I already put the square one, had to weld something different on there. So that's the way that ended up getting configured on the top. Um, we got this security light here. That thing was pretty, pretty handy to install. We had that on the shelf. And then uh, we have the antenna assembled minus the radials on it. The radials are pretty much like copper wires that come out um, to help with the antenna. I'm not an expert with this at all, with how the antenna actually works. I'm just following the instructions on this part, but this thing is honestly like, it's the same size as a tower. So I, I installed it on this tube here, but with it laying down, I felt kind of concerned that it was a little bit too much weight on the aluminum tube with it laying down. Now when it's standing straight up, it's a different story. So I'm gonna have to assemble this in two pieces. I'll have to get the tower in place and then I'll use my man lift and then lift this piece up and set it on top. Because if I try to put it all together and then moving this thing around with the excavator, I definitely risk snapping this thing off of the top because then it's like way over 30 feet and that's a lot to try to maneuver and uh, line up the bolts and everything. So we're gonna play it safe and do it in two pieces. That's the plan. So we got our tower installed. We're gonna install the rest of the components at a later date. But if you like the video, please thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching.